Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at my top five favorite applications on my iPhone that I have recently downloaded from the App Store that I want to share with all of you. So hopefully these are some applications that you will also enjoy. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, we have Homer. Now what Homer allows you to do is basically share screenshots or view screenshots of other people's phones to see what applications they're using. So I don't know about you, but sometimes I find myself asking my friends what apps have they downloaded recently or asking them to send me a screenshot of their device so that I can see them. Well, this gets rid of all of that and it puts it all within this application. So you can search for your friends to see who's on Homer or you can go to trending here and click on someone's profile, such as Jess here. And you can choose to follow her, get her wallpaper, or start swiping here to start looking at how her iDevice looks. So this will let you see all of the applications she has installed. And the cool thing about it is you can tap on it and it will give you information about the application as well as allow you to get on the App Store here and go ahead and download it. So it's a very nice application to pretty much get acquainted with new apps and apps that other people are using. Next up, we have emoji. So with emoji here, what you can do is make custom emojis. And I must say, I really, really, really enjoy this application because I love sending my friends these emojis and it looks so nice in the conversation. So you can search here for different emojis and just type in what you're looking for there. So when you have an emoji that you want to download, you can hold your finger on it and move it here to this bubble here so that you can go ahead and start a conversation with it. Or you can move it to this download icon here so that it downloads to your emojis so that it's saved with the rest of your emojis. But you can also create your own emoji by tapping that there and selecting web images, which will let you search the web take photo which will allow you to take a photo right now or choose existing that way you can import a photo and then cut it out so I'm gonna select choose existing so here's a random picture I had on my phone and I'm gonna just select mm, crop here or that there and what you can do is use this circle here to adjust the thickness of the circle that you're going to use to trace around the picture here so you're going to trace around the object and I'm just doing a very sloppy job because I am not probably going to use this. <laughs> just trying to show you how to do it. But after you have it traced, you can then hit this icon there. And it will cut out everything around it. So that then you can select the check mark here. And it will draw an additional white border around it so that you can then use it as an emoji. But I don't want to use it. And so these are the emojis that I have. And... I think some of you may be familiar with some of them that I currently have, like the infamous uh, Stevie J emoji <laughs> or the Olivia Boss chick. If you follow her on Instagram, um, the, the little <laughs> kid that says, yeah, <laughs> um, or my ultimate favorite, honestly, is going to be. This chick here, the bruh girl, the one that, you know, throws her hand out and it's like, bruh. So you can put it in a message just like that. Type who you want it to send to and then select send. And then once you have sent it, it appears in the message as so. And then you can tap on it, which will make it bigger. But that everyone is emoji. And I, yeah, as you can probably tell, that is my favorite application right now are definitely at the top of the list. So up next, we have Marco Polo. Now, Marco Polo is a very interesting application because what it allows you to do is find your phone if you have lost it. But the catch is Marco Polo has to be running in the background to do that. But nonetheless, this is how it works. So I'm not going to go... Um, all into everything in terms of putting this phone somewhere and demonstrating. And I'm going to just show you here. So if you flip this switch on, you can place your phone somewhere or um, say, for instance, you oh, lost no! it. <laughs> the, the thing is, you're supposed to say the key phrase, which is this word here, and then it will shout Polo to you so you can help so that it can help you find where you misplaced your phone. But the thing I've noticed is sometimes it does not interpret the word correctly and I won't say this particular oh, no! word as you can see right there and it still will shout polo but nonetheless it goes like Marco Polo. 
Marco. Hello. Marco. Hello. <laughs> so that's really it. If you have misplaced your phone and this application is running in the background, it will shout Polo back to you until you find your phone. But of course, your phone has to be within a certain, you know, range in order to hear you even saying the word Marco. But it's an interesting, cool application nonetheless to kind of show off a little bit. But you can change the voices, um, also how loud the voice sounds. And if you get a push notification and so forth and so on, it's an OK app, but it's one that I still feel is worth mentioning and checking out. And then up next, we have Camera 360. So camera 360 is pretty neat because it gives you a couple of different options. One being you can change what type of photo is being taken. So right now I have these categories installed. So you can choose the effects, easy cam selfie scenes, ID, or if you want to do multi grids or you want to do a photo with audio, burst shot, low light, all these different modes that you can use when you take a photo. If you want to choose different things about it, you can go here. Um, such as you want to set a timer, a stabilizer that can be done from within that section, turn your flash on or off, switch your camera back and forth. If you have an account, which I don't, or if I tap effects here, I can pretty much just swipe my finger to get to different effects that can be used. Some of you sweet or sexy lips will make your lips red. <laughs> as if you have on lipstick. But nonetheless, this is an easy camera application that gives you a lot of different options in terms of when you take your photos to take your photo editing and photo capture skills to that very next level. Then last but certainly not least, we have fish eye. So fish eye effect gives you exactly what it says, a fish eye effect. But basically you can hit this middle camera here that'll let you switch the camera back and forth or you can hit the flower here, which will also let you look at your photos, the flash button here to turn the flash on or off. You can hit the settings button here, which will let you choose different type of fish eye lenses. And I think mine's is this one here. That's my favorite because it takes up the entire screen, you know, and then you can choose different film packs in terms of effects for your photos that you want. And then you have a few more options down here, video and photo mode and so forth and so on. But I really, really, really love this application because of what it does. It gives you that fisheye look and it's pretty legit and you have a lot of different options. But that does sum everything up today for all of the applications that I wanted to show you all. If you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do to show your support. Feel free to drop any additional questions or comments down below. My social sites, if you want to follow me up there, can be found in the description box as well. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.